Well, bonjour, mes amis. Today we are going to make something and use a little bit of French while we're making it because we're going to make a French dish. One of the iconic dishes from France, the souffle au fromage, or a cheese souffle. Now, souffle means to puff up. That's actually the past tense, to have been puffed up. And that's what we're going to try and do. So we're going to make these ingredients puff up into something absolutely magical. If it works right, it doesn't always work right. So you've got to follow these instructions fairly carefully. Not an easy dish to do. I remember when I was growing up, my mom used to say when I came into the kitchen and a souffle was in the oven, I would have to tiptoe and be very quiet around the souffle because she didn't want it to fall. Fall and souffle is tantamount to a fallen empire. So we're hopefully going to have a good rise out of this souffle. I'm going to do them in little ramekins, little small dishes. So these would be like individual servings. Of course, there are savory souffles, which is what we're going to do. We're going to make it with cheese, cheddar cheese, nice sharp cheddar cheese. But you can also do sweet souffles that are great. Um, very simple ingredients, eggs. I use rice flour instead of regular flour because I find it's lighter. Plus, anyone who's gluten intolerant is going to be very tolerant of this. Uh, good butter and whole milk. That's really all you need. A little bit of salt. Sometimes people might add a little bit of spice or bay leaf to the mixture. I'm going to leave it plain so it's a simple classic souffle. So the first thing to do, let's go to the oven. So the very first thing you want to do is get the oven going. You want to turn it up to about 400 and uh, you're going to lower the racks so the souffle is going to go in the lowest rack. And, um, and then you're going to drop the temperature down from 400 to about 350. It usually takes about 25 minutes. Now butter the ramekin and dust it with a little bit of flour or cheese. And of course use the rest of the butter for your mixture. So as the butter is melting, we're going to add in a tablespoon or so of this white rice flour. And what we're doing is we're creating a roux, which is going to give us our base for our cheesy sauce. And what you're going to do is you're going to use about a cup of milk, uh, which will help make this roux. Um, I'm more or less measuring it from eye. You can make a cheese souffle with different kinds of cheeses, uh, Gruyere, Parmesan. I prefer cheddar and uh, sharp cheddar for that because whatever you do uh, you want to have a strong taste because it'll get diffused in the souffle itself. Now you want to add about a cup of, of cheese to the mixture which is about half of this bag. So now the next step is to separate the eggs. Um, I use about eight eggs for a souffle that would serve two to three people. Uh, maybe, maybe four if they're not that hungry or if it's an appetizer. And uh, you want to get the nice large eggs uh, because you're hoping for a lot of the egg white, which is an important part of this dish. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put the yolks in here, the whites in here. And this is your mixing bowl. Important about mixing bowls, you want to make sure there's no grease uh, in there. And a way to really ensure that it's uh, grease free is to put a little bit of vinegar on a napkin and just wipe the inside of the bowl so that uh, it's completely dry and free of any kind of grease because that will. That's the enemy of rising egg white. So I'll take an egg and uh, break it apart. Take out the yolk. Let the white slide into the mixing bowl. And then uh, take the rest of the yolk and that goes in here. So here we have the egg yolks and we're going to be mixing them up until they get a little bit yellow. And uh, I've got eight egg yolks in there which I'm going to blend in with the cheese, flour, and butter mixture. That looks pretty good. Now you want to really just sort of turn off the heat so that you're not uh, cooking anymore because you don't want these to turn into scrambled eggs and cheese. So here are the egg whites, nice and ready to be blended. Now some people will say you can use older eggs. They'll make a better, uh, stiffer egg white. Um, you know, that's a matter of choice. Now, sometimes you might want to add a little bit of salt with the egg whites. That will help stiffen them up a bit. Now that's looking just about ready. You want them stiff, but not dry. Now we've got our egg whites, which we're going to fold into our cheesy mixture. And what I'll do is I'll take about a third of those egg whites and just blend those in a little more heavy-handedly than the next two-thirds because I want to make sure I get every bit of that cheesy mixture well blended in with some egg whites. Now we're going to pour 
our mixtures into these dishes. So we've got about 25 minutes to wait. A good excuse to have a nice glass of ice cold milk. And uh, of course, if we were really being lively in French, we'd probably make it a nice cold glass of wine or champagne. Okay. Well, it looks like it's about time for our souffles to come out. Aren't they just gorgeous? It's like Manny, Mo, and Jack. And here it is. What a beautiful, perfect little souffle. Now, if you'd save some of that cheesy sauce, you could pour that on top, and that would add an extra element to it. But you know, when they're like this, they're just about perfect. All you need to do is dig in, and oh, this the smell of those cheese, the eggs, and a lot of love. Anyway, for nippers.com, this is Arthur von Wiesenberger. Bon appetit.